Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I would like to share with you an unboxing of a new Tucson knife that I uh, currently added to my collection. This is the model number TS159 and it is a new iteration or new model uh, with uh, my Carta. So it comes really nicely uh, packed up in a few these plastic baggies or packages and I'm really happy to report that uh, there is no seeping oil out of these uh, scales like uh, you could witness in my some of my previous videos uh, probably uh, uh, the knife community did reach uh, the manufacturer and they and they reflected on our, our requests so big thumbs up for that okay so let's talk about the uh, 159 so this is a uh, Wong design uh, Mr. Wong is another uh, in-house uh, designer for Tucson uh, he did release a lot of, of beautiful designs for them and I'm really happy to uh, be able to own a few of them of course Previously, uh, this version uh, was available in different materials. If I'm not mistaken, there was a uh, carbon fiber and also titanium version. So now we have a Berlin Micarta one. Okay, so let me give you the specifications really quickly. Uh, we have a, and I must also say that all the informations will be also down below. So if you don't want to, to hear this, uh, then you can uh, skip forward. Okay, so we have a overall length of 22.5 centimeters or 8.5 inches. The blade length is 10 centimeters or 4 inches. Uh, the blade width is 2.6 centimeter or 1 inch. The blade thickness is 3.6 millimeters or 0 0.14 inches. The handle length is 12.7 centimeters or 5 inches. And the thickness without the pocket clip is 1.6 centimeters or 0 0.6 inches. Materials used on this knife, we have a 14C28N stainless steel on the blade uh, with this nice uh, belt satin finish, Tucson logo. On the other side, we have the blade steel used and Wong Design Maker's Mark. Nice gym, functional jimping on the top with a beautiful top uh, false edge. And we have this beautiful click point blade style. The handles, like I mentioned, are made out of Berlet Micarta. It's a brown uh, type with a heavy uh, mesh weave. Uh, which is buffed, so this is uh, nice and smooth. Probably will stay this and uh, will not uh, degrade that much or get a patina. We have a liner construction. The liners are made of 420 stainless steel, which are heavy skeletonized uh, inside, as you can see right there but only on one side, the other side is uh, not uh, skeletonized at all. We have a partial uh, G10 backspacer, which functions also as a, a linear hole. We have really nice, uh, robust hardware. The pocket clip is the newer style folded uh, deep carry stainless steel. But for some reason, they are not using uh, flush screws on this one. But there is definitely a nice wide gap for any thick uh, materials you could imagine. This one is also not uh, reversible. I don't know why, so I'm sorry for all of my uh, left-handed users. So this is probably not one for you. Let's check out the sharpness out of the box. So these are beautiful nice and sharp the action is really smooth the pivot assembly rides on caged uh, ceramic ball bearing washers 
we have an integral uh, blade stop right there. I forgot to show the centering, so the centering is perfectly centered and this is how much it will stick out out of your pocket also for some reason uh, they use these polished up pocket sleeves I would probably prefer if you uh, if you if they would use any kind of uh, acid wash or um, something to not to be that much on the nose because this will reflect and shine in your pocket it is what it is uh, but uh, there is hope on the horizon for new blade uh, treatments I did see some uh, pictures of new versions of knives that do have a acid stone wash so uh, fingers crossed to be released soon because uh, let's keep it real for EDC purposes a stone wash or heavy acid stone wash is, uh, is one of the best options you can get uh, as a corrosion um, uh, protection but 14C20N is uh, really nice uh, stainless steel so you will definitely not have uh, that much problems and if you are using any kind of uh, anti-corrosion uh, inhibitor then this will be probably no issue for you okay there is the liner lock nice and early really robust uh, the weight comes in uh, 119 grams or 4.2 ounces so definitely another beautiful uh, a beautiful knife with this uh, nice blade profile here the liner rock has no jimping what I miss a little bit but uh, there is no problems uh, without with the cutouts it is perfectly fine and you will have no problem to disengage okay now let's see a few size comparisons so let me bring out uh, one of my favorite models that I have uh, this is the 111 and uh, here's the version in uh, my carta and let us continue with the QSP uh, penguin two knives Cebu CVV Elementum Kaiserberg Lighter 2 QSP Penguin Cancept A Little Main Street Kubieris Giant Mouse is Grand Ontario Knife Company uh, Red One in my Carta is a Knife Center exclusive. Walker Plus Bonfire. Here is the Buck Sprint Pro. Benchmade Large Griptilian. Benchmade 940. Here is a Spiderco Endura.
Vivi Rustic Gent. Kaiser Sheepdog XL. Really nice Chimera. And let's close it down with K by Dozier Folding Hunter. Okay, so price wise, uh, at the at the time point when I'm making this video, uh, these are not available uh, for direct purchase from any uh, dealer that I know of. Uh, uh, you should probably check out White Mountain Knives. Uh, maybe they will have the pricing uh, up after this video is released. Also, if you don't see it anywhere, then uh, check out eBay. Uh, Tucson has this. Uh, uh, how to say it uh, business practice that all new models are released firstly on uh, eBay as auction and uh, then after some time they will be released on, on sites like Aliexpress and uh, going through some dealers they have uh, usually White Mountain Knives has them uh, really early up but uh, uh, it will take uh, a few weeks probably uh, for them to get them because all the issues in our world with their logistics and so on so uh, If you like one then uh, check out these uh, places I'm uh, fairly certain that uh, after after some time they will be available uh, Also uh, as a direct purchase so you don't have to uh, sit and wait on eBay and bid on these Price wise, uh, I would expect uh, these uh, could range from around under 70 to maybe pushing pushing 80, 90 at the most. But uh, lots of models with the 14C28 went for around uh, 69, 99. But uh, times are changing and so also the pricing. So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, I don't know when are you watching this video, okay? So with that being said, uh, if you have any questions, please leave comments down below. I will put all the information regarding knife specifications uh, uh, in the description box for your convenience. If I found uh, any kind of vendor that sells these knives directly, I will put also links uh, down below. I would like to thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave comments down below. I'm more than happy to reply as soon as I can. Also, if you're a subscriber, thanks uh, very much. Big thumbs up to you. And if you are not a subscriber, then please consider subscribing to not miss any uh, future videos. I try to release at least three videos per week. Uh, my channel is a one-man show. I do this as a hobby, so uh, I would like to share my, my opinions uh, uh, with my followers. So with that being said, I would like to thank you for your time. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and stay safe.